guys how is it going i hope everyone is doing okay i just wanted to pop by and do a kind of 2018 roundup type video i guess it's been just over a year since i started my youtube channel um well i think i started it in november but since i took about a month and a half out for moving house i'm gonna say it's a year does that seem fair I just wanted to have a little chat with you guys about how it's going, how life is, and maybe get a little bit of feedback from everybody out there as well. Also, I've got some things to share with you. So while I'm going to do this video, let's do that now. This is something that I was sent a really long time ago, and I started to do a mini review about this because I didn't think it worked. It's a lifting cream. It's effective in just five minutes instant age back what is the company it's made in germany it might be this fit eyes and i tried this out and i thought i don't really get this product i don't think it works and that's what i was going to say however you guys and i noticed in a video that i did that one of my eyes looked best than the other so i thought oh maybe it does work but maybe it doesn't work the, quite the way i'm thinking of it so i thought i would show you this now properly because now i've seen it does do something that's a bit of a fairer trial this is how it comes and the idea is you put on a little bit and it's going to make your eyes look better younger the dream is that you have for a long time is cut the english translation isn't perfect but i'm just going to read it how it is the dream that you have for a long time is coming true with instant age back. The signs of years on your face are being erased with no surgery. It is now possible to get rid of puffy eyes and diminish the signs of aging in a couple of minutes with instant age back. Just in five minutes, you will have much younger looking by instant age back. So that is the idea. And it did come with a bigger leaflet as well. You just need a teeny tiny bit. It looks like a sort of, I don't know, a waxy thing. The idea is that you pat it on and then you don't move whatever area it is so it could be your forehead it could be your under eye but then you need to try and fan it dry and also not re-wrinkle the area so the idea is that you're making it smooth and then not causing it to crease five minutes on the clock we should be able to see the difference if you put on too much you'll get a white cast which i'll probably get some on my finger and i'll show that to you when it dries so that's the first thing I just wanted to do a live demo but I do actually think that this works it might be interesting for some of you out there I did do a little test of this on my husband's forehead because he has some quite deep wrinkles when he raises his eyebrows but it didn't really work on that oh I've got to stop moving my face it didn't really work on that but I thought oh maybe that means it doesn't work but I think it's working on more subtle wrinkles and changes and puffy eye bags I wouldn't say my eyes are too puffy at the moment uh, they definitely can be and I'm surprised because I've only had about two hours sleep. But I think it is definitely more for puffy and minor wrinkles rather than major ones. But we'll see how it goes. It's a bit strange to me that I've been a whole year on YouTube now. When I started it, I honestly thought that it wasn't going to last, that nobody was ever going to follow me or watch me. And it's been amazing that so many of you guys have watched my videos have commented on my videos even before i was doing lots of giveaways i still had regular followers and people commenting and what's been really nice doing the giveaways is encourage some more people to subscribe and comment but not just new people who just want stuff but people who've been watching me anyway and um who took that extra step and now i've got to hear more about you guys and find out stuff and it's been really lovely so i just want to say thank you really for spending your time with me I know I say that sometimes, but I really do mean it because you know, there's a big world out there and you could be doing anything with your time anywhere. And the fact that you take some time out and watch one of my videos is awesome. I really appreciate it. I first started off planning to do a blog, which I'd still like to do. I do enjoy filming more. So that's kind of where I focus my energy just as a way to exercise my brain, really, because with my illness and my husband's illness and just managing life I felt like my brain was going to rot by not doing something regularly but this has given me a new challenge and a new goal and it fits well around our health issues I can take a break if I need to 
or I can do more if I feel like it. And it's also opened a new avenue to meet new friends because I haven't made new friends for, I don't think I've made new friends for about five, six years. A lot of my old friends became acquaintances after my illness started, not because they're horrible people or anything, but when you stop being able to go out and do things and meet up and stop being able to drink and things just change and people drift away and then things happen, people have babies, life happens, jobs happen, people move and all that kind of thing. So things changed. So it's been really nice to be able to meet new people, whether they are subscriber people who have become friends, like talk to, I'm so bad at corresponding, so I apologise. <laughs> I've got a wonderful friend in New Zealand and I do not spend as much time talking to her as I ought to. For my other people that I talk to, like Pink Poodle 2, who I don't talk to as much as I ought to, or Jade, or um, Chrissy, um, there's loads of people that I've got to know, whether it's a bit or a lot, and I really appreciate that. So. If you haven't heard from me for a while, it doesn't mean I don't care. I am just a rubbish human at correspondence, basically. Also, I have found that there are so many more people with stuff. You know, everyone's got stuff going on. But sometimes with my health condition stuff, I feel like I'm the only one. And I know that really I'm not because I mean, I'm married to someone else who's got a chronic ill health. But it's been amazing how many other people are going through similar things. Um, whether it's a health thing or whether it's a life thing, maybe it's taking care of a child with an illness, maybe it's looking after a parent with a health condition, or maybe it's just a challenging situation, like your partner is away, like in the army or something, and you are at home with the kids. Everyone's got stuff, and I really like the idea that I've been able to share a bit, I mean, people have been able to share a bit with me, and maybe in the comments, people have been able to read things from different people, and it's, hopefully, it's helped to feel like you're not alone. We're all in it together, one way or another. Yeah, that is the kind of community that I'd like to build if I ever get to big enough to say, I have a community. Do I have a community now? I'd like to think so. Um, <laughs> in some way, definitely. I think as time goes on, it's becoming more okay it should have always been okay, but it's becoming easier for people to say, hey, look, I have a mental health condition, or hey, look, I have a disability, or hey, look, I'm facing this challenge, I'm really struggling in my relationship, or I'm really struggling with this, or whatever the situation is, and being able to share that and come together about it. Because it's always great on social media for us to share the good things. Hey, look at my pretty face when I've got makeup on. Or, hey, look at my really nice hair. Or, hey, look at this new stuff I bought. But sometimes it's also good to share the other side of life. Because life is made up of ups and downs. But if we didn't have downs, we wouldn't know what the ups were. So I try to keep a balance. Hopefully not too much moaning stuff. I try to be careful about that. You might think that it's too much and I'm sorry if it is. That is the kind of feedback I'm looking for. I try to keep a sort of balance about what I'm talking about. But if there is anything that you guys would like to know in more detail, then do let me know. But my plans for the new year, I would definitely like to grow my channel and definitely like to grow myself on other social media and maybe start doing a weekly vlog piece type thing if I can squeeze that in. And the question of the day to win today's giveaway is what do you prefer? Random videos that come out at different times or would you prefer me to say right I'll do three videos a week and they will always come out at seven o'clock like I don't know Monday, Wednesday, Friday or something like that or you don't mind when they come out at all? What do you think? Like what does it matter? Does it not matter? Because I mean, some YouTubers are very regular. Some are like, write two videos a week and then sometimes extras. Some do it randomly. And people have said it's better to be like consistent, which is something I would like to be because sometimes I will have a like a three or four day gap. But then, you know, sometimes you get beauty boxes and you get one after the other after the other. So it feels it makes sense to do them one after the other. Does it bother you or are you OK with that kind of thing? Would you like to see more makeup type looks like me using the makeup products versus just unboxing them? Do you want to see a round off of the beauty boxes? Is that something that you'd be interested in? I really wanted to do more vlogging stuff, but 
to be honest I don't really do that much like this is mostly what I do and otherwise it's coming with us to a hospital appointment or a doctor's appointment or yeah I don't really do much stuff and the stuff that I do do if I do go and see friends or something most <laughs> pretty much all my friends and family don't want to be in my videos they were like no we don't want to be on camera and I think that's quite funny because they don't watch it or most of them don't watch it so it's not like they'll see themselves but it's fair enough, it's their lives. If they don't want to be on camera, they don't want to be on camera. So I guess I will just vlog when I have something interesting to vlog. I don't know, that's it basically. Just want, I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I just wanted to say, is there anything you would like me to tweak or change or hopefully you don't hate it because you're watching. <laughs> I do appreciate feedback. My goal for the year is to reach a thousand subscribers. I think I guess maybe 500 on Instagram is that fair target I don't know why I'm saying these targets out loud then if I don't meet them I'm gonna be so devastated <laughs> uh, I'm not quite at my 500 subscriber target for 2018 but it's okay it's okay I think I actually would have been there but YouTube did a little cleanup of people whose accounts were no longer active and uh, I lost about 14 subscribers <laughs> But they, as they said, oh, it's okay. So even if you lose a large number of subscribers, it's okay because the ones you have left are real people who really watch your channel, which is true. But I just thought that was quite funny when you are a smaller channel and every subscriber counts. <laughs> I haven't put on too much because it's not gone white. In fact, it's not got one up and white on my finger. Can you see any difference between this eye and this eye? I feel like it just looks a little bit smoother. This wrinkle here just looks a bit flatter on this eye. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. I think it does work better on puffy eyes rather than just the wrinkles. But maybe it just looks a tiny bit less deep than that side. What do you guys think? Slightly better or you can't see it as much? But definitely in my other video people noticed it. This cream is 49.95. And I'm not sure, but I think I have a full size one based on the picture. And it's normally £55. OMG. <laughs> mm. I'm not sure for me if it's worth that because I don't know if I have the right kind of bags slash wrinkles for it to work. They do say it's supposed to be no needles, no surgery, easy application. It's supposed to be for your forehead, um, puffiness and eye bags for your pores. For an eyebrow lift, apply it above your eyebrows. Ooh. And for hooded eyelids, apply it below the eyebrows. So while we're sitting here, let's see if I can lift my eyebrow as well. Because that might be interesting to find out. Because I knew I was going to do this, I haven't put any concealer and stuff on. So that's why I'm a bit red. Um, and very shiny, even though I put on mattifying stuff. Honestly, I'm just a shiny person. Oh, I can't wait till I get some more lights, honestly. That is one of my goals, more lights. So I'm gonna put sort of pause around there. We'll compare it to the other side in a minute when it dries. So maybe now would be a good point to go through the giveaway for today. So we have a double-ended makeup brush here. I think it's supposed to be like an eyeshadow one. We've got Percy and Reed Wonder Balm there. Percy and Reed, oh my goodness, shine spray. We've got Nip and Fab Glycolic um, Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. It's just like a sample of them. Yeah, I'm dropping things. The CN Colour in Red. It's like a lip butter lipstick. Got a Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Colour in Plums the Word. We've got a Hask Monai Coconut Oil Hair Mask, moisturises and revitalises all hair types, deep hair conditioner. Got some Cetaphil Cleanser, Gentle Skin Cleanser. We've got a full size Dr. Pore Pore Multi Purpose Soothing Balm with a natural pore pore. And last, we have this, which is Medusa's Makeup and it's Cruelty Free Lip Paint. I'll just show you the colour. Let me put this stuff back. Um, the lip paint is just in that colour. So there we go. 
that is that giveaway. I told you the question earlier, so you can let me know what you think. All right, I'll just have a look at my head. See, you can see there where it looks a bit white, where I've put everything. But you know what? I think that has actually raised my eyebrow. So what I needed to do is put a bit less on, perhaps. What do you think? Do you think my eyebrow looks raised? Because I always think this one doesn't look as high as that one, even when I pencil it and try and make it higher. I do think that does look a bit higher, you know? Hmm. I'm gonna try and do it before and after. Look, if I put my face there, then I can fit another face here. It's funny because here, it obviously hasn't absorbed as well as and here, but where I put, did it around my nose and everything, it's not showing the whiteness. Maybe it works differently in different areas. I'm wondering if it does look very slightly smoother around here than on that side. Just this side looks maybe a little bit more bumpy on that side. What do you guys think? Better or worse? I don't know, but I know I need to like take this, make this stop being so white up here. <laughs> yeah, but I do feel like it has worked a bit. I am going to keep testing it out. And what I need to do is really, I need to test it on my mum. Um, because she doesn't have puffy bags, but she has more wrinkles. Sorry, mum. <sighs> That's what another 30 years of life will do to you. And maybe you guys can let me know if you think there's a better way to test it or a different way that you'd like to see me use it. It's got no SLSs or parabens, which is good as well. I've just seen that on the back. And I have got another one. It's called the Beverly Hills Formula One and it does the same thing. Also, you put it on and I find that it does flatten out my under eye. But if you use enough to make it really work, you get a white thing and then you have to try and cover that up with makeup same as what was happening up here if you don't use enough you don't really get much of an effect i got that from groupon it wasn't nearly as expensive as this maybe 10 pounds or something i definitely think that my under eye looks smoother on this side like it's not massive but it just does look a bit smoother and improved and i think if you were going to have eye bags it would help you more than maybe it's helping me because it's not getting rid of my darkness which is probably the most obvious of my under eye issues at the moment so thank you v ties for sending this to me and i'm sorry it took me so long to give you my thoughts and review of it but here it is now i haven't forgotten i haven't lost it i did want to test it properly and i feel like i have tried it on a few different occasions on a few different people to get the full idea of whether it's good bad or ugly and at the moment we're saying it's okay. <laughs> right, I think that's all I want to say on this video right now. I will do giveaway winners another video. So thank you so much for all your support during 2018 and for spending your time with me and for commenting and just making me feel welcome on the stage that is YouTube and giving me a bit more focus and meaning to my life. God, that sounds deep and over the top, doesn't it? But it has been really enjoyable to do this and to feel like this is a new project in my life and I wouldn't be able to do it without people who want to watch me. If no one wants to watch me, I just wouldn't be here. <laughs> so I really appreciate it. And I hope that everybody out there has a wonderful 2019 ahead. I wish you all the health and happiness and simplicity to your life, no complications, no work issues, no money problems, only happiness and solutions and good stuff. That's what we want. But even amongst the bad stuff, you can always find a bit of positive here and there. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. And until I see you next time, I hope you live every moment well, find something positive in every day and take care of yourselves. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs>